Mashiri, en route to marry the King of Fenis, was assailed by unknown bandits. Mont came to her rescue, and thus the course of history began to change. The allied forces of Horn and Fenis. Against such overwhelming power, Leonis falls into a state of ruin. Mont and his father, King Elda, make for the allied kingdom of Wazet. His twin Stern and his mother, Helena, fall into King Moraga Fenis's clutches. However, against all expectations, Leonis allies with Horn and Fenis with Wazet, tilting the power balance. Moraga and a sanctum influenced Stern lie felled by Mont after brutal combat. However, that did not draw everything to a close. With the earth dyed crimson, the giant crystal has finally been awakened. Princess! Save yourselves! Go quickly! We cannot leave you! Here they come! Resigned yourself to your fate, have you? We let your unit slip by before, but we won't be repeating the same mistake. You, you're the princess, aren't you? Your Highness, you mustn't! Precisely so! I am Luciel, the Princess of Ovis you seek. I am your prey. Let my soldiers live, and I will gladly surrender my life to you! Your Highness, we will fight to the bitter end! Have it your way. Your Highness! Stop. This is how it must be. Now, carry out your true intentions! Very well. I will not allow it! My dear sister... She doesn't have the ring on her. Which means she must be a mere decoy. It would appear the real princess, Luciel, is still in Ovis Castle. We return to the main division at once! We have captured the gate, sir! Faster than expected. How fare the troops? None have left the front. So, the battle proved a poor challenge. It would seem so, sir. I suppose they wonder why it is not the main castle. But this Valdor castle, a mere branch which they must lay siege to. They do, sir. There is naught for it. Fighting on the front lines is not the sole aspect of war. But... Word is that Hindler struggles in their siege of the main castle. Say not another word. Uh, it was King Jaden's decision to entrust such a task to Hindler. Should you voice objection to this? I... I would never! To go against King Jaden's wishes is... I know. 
The same is true for both you and I. Lord Shunak. We have a duty to fulfill, for that is what King Jaden desires of us. Understood. Yes, sir! Now then, we take Valdor Castle. Mind that you do not fall into complacency in your assault. The army of Rundal accepts naught but perfection and outright victory. My, my. You refuse to give up despite your clear inferiority. But sadly, there's no overcoming the insurmountable odds you face. I shall make you regret ever bearing your fangs towards King Jaden. Hold your tongue! The tyranny of you Rundal scum will not go unchallenged forever! <laughs> so spirited. Snipers? I told them their efforts would be futile. Oh, well, it's not as if they will be missed by anyone. Huh? Fool! They had the right idea, I'll give them that. But disrespecting Rundal, was the fundamental cause of their undoing. We, of Rundal, never underestimate our enemies. And always crush them with all our might. Well then, let us apply the finishing touches. Our goal here is not to capture this pathetic castle but to eradicate every last trace of the Ovis bloodline. Let none escape! Enemy forces approaching! No sign of the enemy. Proceeding forward! King Jaden! Hey there. Still alive? My apologies. I did not underestimate the enemy for the scale of their nation. Oh, I know. We deal with wolves who charade as sheep. Especially that Luciel. She's villainous in her use of the visions. Indeed, Your Highness. But from what we can discern... She doesn't grace us with her presence on the front lines. We'll likely find her within the comfort of Ovis Castle. It's terrifying to think she can summon visions from such a distance. We'd best relieve the vile witch of that ring as soon as we can. Of course, Your Highness. Well then, let's go lend Hindler a gun or two at the front. King Jaden. How fares the battle? Our army has the advantage. Or so I would like to say. I figured as much. It is not that Heimler lacks for strength at the front lines. Yes, I'm aware. I imagine they struggle to overcome the visions that Luciel calls to the field. That is correct. And as such, it cannot be said our coordination with Heimler goes smoothly. Surely now is the time to send Crucium and Calorum to the front lines. 
that would indeed be the quickest way to go about it. But you wish for the credit to be Heimler's? You could say that. There are those who are far from pleased with the coalescence of our nations. And particularly speaking, I hear there are those among our troops who undervalue Heimler unjustly. If Heimler were to distinguish themselves against such odds, they would be seen in a different light. Precisely. Be that as it may, perhaps in desire for glory, more than a few of their soldiers have rushed into battle without waiting for orders. Ah, the vigor of youth. I do not think that is quite the issue here. <laughs> what happened to your sense of humor? Besides, I haven't left the front lines to Heindler purely to deliver them all the glory. Is there more to this? Were you not aware of the relationship between King Oberon and Luciel? Oh! That was actually true? If they were to wed, we would instead find Heindler unified with Ovis. This is where matters grow complicated. Luciel approached King Oberon in an attempt to ensure the preservation of Ovis, and schemed to drive a wedge between Rundal and Heindler. Indeed she did. But what of King Oberon? Does he not oppose our invasion of Ovis? Who knows? Your Highness... One can never truly know what lurks in another's heart. Which is why we shall put Oberon and his nation's resolution to the test. Speaking of which, King Jaden, We've just received a report that work on the trench proceeds smoothly. Ah, good. Trench? That means we can finally... I cannot wait to see the look on their faces as they writhe in panic. What's wrong? Is this all the Chief of Saiga can muster? Come on, don't call me that. After the village was wiped out, I did what I could to restore Saiga. But everyone was too busy with the countries they swore themselves to. No one could help me. Eventually, my resources ran dry and I had trouble even putting food in my belly. Is that not the very reason I found a way for your talents to be put to use? And I'm really thankful for that! It's just... Don't you think Elvis treats its shinobi rather harshly? I'm not so sure there's any alternative. It is Rundal we face after all. Mm. A limb? You had better not be thinking of abandoning Ovis to take up service under Rundal. I, I didn't say that! The idea simply crossed my mind for but the briefest of moments. I knew it. <laughs> Nevertheless, there is but one thing you must not forget. 
It was Ovis that extended the hand of salvation when Goga hunted you relentlessly. Yes, I know. Now's the time to honor that debt! The enemy approaches! I'm ready! Just how many soldiers did Heindler bring? A never-ending number, it seems. This isn't boding well for us, but do you think the King of Ovis... King Rogza. At least learn his name. Th that's the one! King Rogza! So, I don't suppose this King Rogza has a secret plan or the like? A secret what? You know, like he has coordinated reinforcements to arrive any moment now, or...? Unfortunately, there's little hope of that happening. Huh? Are you serious? Don't you think Horner Leonis would be willing to dispatch troops our way, though? Both of those countries currently stand united in a war against the combined armies of Fennis and Wazette. Once their war is over, it's possible they will dispatch troops to us, but there's no telling when that will come to pass. Don't tell me. Are there no forces we could rely on that aren't at war? I wouldn't go as far as saying there are none. Oh? So who's left? Goga. Eh. <sighs> Olivia? It is rather odd, isn't it? Ever since you were taken in by Ovis, Goga is yet to make a single obvious move. Now that you mention it, you're right. Rundal seems like the place to employ Goga, but we haven't seen them anywhere. Are they hatching yet another plot? Or perhaps? Any movements from the enemy? There doesn't seem to be. I was hoping they'd grow impatient and make the first move. But we can't just keep waiting like this, right? Indeed, we have no alternative. I guess we'll take the battle to them. I'm not liking this. But what else can Ashinobi do? Would you mind doing it in a smaller voice? But... It will only lower the morale of the troops to hear such things from you. Worry not. We are already aware. What? Lord McLeod. Uh, um... Aware of what, exactly? That the enemy's numbers are great. There is little for us to gain by fighting for them. Just a moment. Are you suggesting surrender? That is not our intent. We suggest a strategic retreat. There's no strategy in retreating like we've soiled our breaches. My, how crude. <sighs> Do you plan to hole up in the castle? In a manner of speaking, I suppose we do. In a manner of speaking? In any case, we cannot afford to spare more troops to hold the front line. Very well. If that's what the First Division in VM's commander says, I'll obey. But, are you sure of the course you choose? Surrender the front line and you'll never get it back. 
That remains to be seen. Now then, we retreat. How fair is the battle? We are at an overwhelming disadvantage, Your Highness. And the decoy? Our reports tell us that Lady Rashina met her fate at the enemy's blade. Is that so? Father, I can bear this no longer. These sacrifices in my place. If you must bear hate, let it be towards me. Luciel, you are the treasure of Orvis. You must be protected no matter the cost. <laughs> so, we've expended our options. Wait a minute! You've got some kind of last resort, don't you? Naturally. However, it truly is the last thing we can resort to. Truth be spoken, I wish we could have bought ourselves more time in preparation for this. There's not to gain in lamenting what is past. I have made my decision. Draw the foolish soldiers of Rundle and Heidler as close as you can. And then, open every floodgate. As you wish, Your Highness. Lord MacLeod. It is as I said. The time has come to cast off our sheepish guys. What is this? <laughs> 